Oh, hey, DJ. So I wanted to ask you, um, you know, week one, I guess coaches, um, I don't remember which coach it was, but said, you know, you had a little, uh, a little bit of work to do. And then this past week, they're really praising you a lot. So maybe what was the difference? Um, I don't know if it was a mindset thing, just uh, attention to detail thing. Talk about that. And then also, you know, looking ahead to this week, what you have to continue to improve. Uh, I would say it was more, more, more focus. Um, I wasn't too, too much locked in on the game and the test that was at hand um, that was presented to me. Um, the next week, just came back locked in and played the scheme how I was supposed to. Um, just got to just follow me. You just got to come to work. Awesome. Next up, we have David Faronis from the Sun Sentinel. David, do you have a question for DJ? Hey, DJ. Um, I noticed uh, after giving up the touchdown uh, to UAB on that uh, early drive that, um, you know, in the week after that, a lot of fans uh, were really down on you. I mean, do you ever pay attention to that? And, and how do you kind of just, uh, you know, respond, uh, you know, from one week to the next after that? I mean, it's not a big deal. They're fans. That's what they're supposed to do. The um, only thing I'm worried about is what the teammate, what my teammates and what my coaches believe or think about me. Um, no, I'm not too concerned about the outside. I'm not, I mean, that's what they're supposed to do. They're going to judge. So I'm just going to continue to play ball. That's all. All right, next up, we're going to go to Christopher Stock from inside the U. Chris, go ahead for DJ. Yeah, DJ, what kind of challenges do the FSU receivers present? Um, what you're noticing from film, in particular with Terry, with his size, uh, what you see from him in particular as well? Um, like Bubba was saying, they have a lot of talented dudes on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, we just got to come out and play play like Miami Hurricanes, and, and then it'll take care of everything else. Um, yeah, we just got to come out and play ball. Awesome. Next up, we're going to go to Manny Navarro from The Athletic. Manny, go ahead for DJ. Oh, I guess Manny dropped off. Um, we'll go to Gabriel Garcia from Lemon City Live. Gabriel, go ahead for DJ. Hey, DJ, how are you? How you doing? Uh, good, and you? All right, so how important, since it was Miami's first primetime game of the season, how important was their win against Louisville? Um, it was a very important win for us on the road, conference game, um, national television. Um, we can't come out and, you know, play bad. We got to come out and play ball like we did. Uh, we continue to keep that up. We could, we could go four ways. Uh, also, uh, as a follow-up question, going into the game, experts were favoring Louisville. Did you guys use that as fuel in your efforts against the Cardinals or, or no? Yeah, we did. At, at, yeah, we, we, we used it as fuel, um, knowing that what we did to them uh, previous year and we come at the underdogs and Louisville was a favorite. It's like, you know, like, dang, this is what y'all think of Miami Hurricanes, but, you know, we proved them wrong. So that's all we're going to continue to do. Awesome. Our last question for DJ comes from David Faronas of the Sun Sentinel. David, go ahead for DJ. Hey, DJ, I want to know what you thought about uh, Bubba Bolden, the way he played against Louisville, and then uh, also the way he uh, came back from his injury that he had uh, last year, and uh, and also uh, your thoughts on the turnover chain, the new turnover chain. Uh, Bubba Bolden played a great game. Um, like you said, it's still a little, a little uh, cleanup that he had to do, but overall he played a great game. Um, he was flying around like crazy. I mean, without him out there, I mean, I don't know who would made those tackles. Um, turnover team, man. It's nice. It was, it was, it was, we was happy to bring it out. We're going to continue to bring it out and we're going to keep rolling. Awesome. Uh, DJ, we're actually going to do one more. We're going to go to Susan Miller Degnan from the Miami Herald. Susan, go ahead. DJ. Thanks, David. Uh, DJ, you were talking about prime time and everything at Louisville, and now the same thing's going to happen, you know, at UM. Um, and, and game day's coming there again. How nice is that for you? How does it? kind of motivate you. Um, and I also wanted to ask you about the rivalry and the guys you know growing up that went there and to go back and forth, how important the rivalry is. Okay, uh, I'll start off with the primetime game. Uh, it's a primetime game, but we, we're, we're seeing it as just another game. It's another game that we got to prepare for, that we got to come to play. So that's what we're going to do. Um, as far as the rivalry, I mean, growing up, all I know is the Miami Hurricanes and that they don't lose to uh, Florida State. And then that's that's what all Coach Diaz preach. We're gonna lose to Florida State, and we're gonna continue to beat Florida State. I'm two and zero. I plan to be four and zero. Thank you. Awesome, DJ. 
Thanks for taking the time to talk with us today and good luck on Saturday. Thank you. Appreciate it.